What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dad Singer Reactions coming to y'all. This gonna be interesting, okay? Because I have never seen a full Bone Docs episode. Um, I've only been seeing memes and clips sent to me. That's about it. I'm not gonna just catch you having fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I seen that one, and my baby. You know, I I see little clips like that. Um, that's hilarious, and people are telling me the show is hilarious. Um, but I gotta get into the show. Um, so what better way on my channel than to do the? I just happened to scroll down. Look, I was scrolling down to see maybe what episodes looks good. The itis. This is what crack must feel like. The color ruckus. The story of gangsta licious. Or maybe I should do like them and just do like the funniest moments. But the trial of Robert Kelly got to be funny, right? I want to see this one. Ep this is season one, episode two. So this is episode two. So this was fresh and new. Thank you for not snitching. What is okay? So we're gonna jump into this. Don't forget my Patreon is in the description. We get exclusive access, early content, special requests. PayPal Cash App is open for new requests. If you would like to send me anything, go ahead and send it right now. You can feel free to do so. I have a second YouTube channel called Hear Me Out. Feel free to check it out. Hit me up on Instagram if y'all want me to cover some different topics and whatnot. Um, I have a PO box also in the description. So if you want to send me anything via PO box, feel free to do so as well. I'm going to make this a little bit transparent, though, because I don't want to get blocked or whatever the case is. I'm going to do about 24. All right, so let's see what this is about. Yeah, let's go in. I just know it's funny and it's just like a full of black people. But the trial of Robert Kelly of R. Kelly got to be funny as hell. Here's something black people have known for a couple of hundred years. Niggas are crazy. Now, black people who love to talk <laughs> oh, bruh. about crazy niggas in public because white people may be listening, but I'm afraid the secret might be out. Former singer Whitney Houston appeared in court alongside husband Bobby Brown, who's facing battery charges for allegedly beating his once respectable wife. Hell to the not, Bobby, don't hit me. See, we have this TV show, and, and it's, it's our TV show, and I was trying to get a little bit more time on it. And it's my show, bitch! <laughs> Oh my god. No, I think this is crazy. A bit more time on it and it's my show, bitch. <laughs> you know, I think they're on drugs. Let's see what's on BET. Oh, lovely lord. Can I play this on my channel? But they, okay, so this is the most blackest cartoon i've known that but it really is to the t in terms of when you turn on bet late at night all you seen was bet uncut that's what you would see like Jeez. you boys cover your eyes shake 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 that to leave something to the imagination that's just showing too much booty and on our talking points this evening it seems like the hip-hop community is trading in their gold chains for gold showers Hip-hop singer R. Kelly is on trial. They're trading in their gold chains for their gold showers. That's scared. Again this week for sharing some of his liquid bling with yet another underage girl. Some advice for Mr. Kelly. Next time, use a golden shower curtain and keep your golden showers to yourself. What's wrong with a man giving away a golden shower? Sounds like a nice gift to me. <laughs> what? Shoot, I wish somebody gave me a golden shower. <laughs> One, I like gold. Two, I like showers. <laughs> Put it together. Hey, that sounds like the life. <laughs> if you're good, Santa Claus might give you a golden shower for Christmas. <laughs> Christmas? My man Santa. And controversial R&B superstar oh my R. God. Kelly will be heading into court tomorrow. There is the no of... way. I hope this ain't showing. There is no way I'm not gonna get demonetized for this video. Let me make this a little bit more because y'all tripping. Whew. 
I'm so oh of his God. latest highly anticipated trial for child pornography and, and lewd acts for the local minor. Granddad, can you take us into the city tomorrow to watch the R. Kelly trial? Hell no. But you can walk. It's 40 miles. <laughs> All the money I spent on them damn Nikes? <laughs> you better just do it. <laughs> Thomas Dubois is leading I the prosecution of Kelly and has a mountain of evidence against the famous R&B performer, including a videotape allegedly showing Kelly urinating on a 14-year-old girl, which is widely available for download at www.freetop.com. I'm going to go uh check my email. Oh no. Yeah. That's... Get your little short ass back here. Yeah. Ooh, I'm about to say, at some point, they can't be crossing too many lines, bruh. Hey, boys. Hey there, Huey. Riley. I couldn't help but notice your sign, and I hope you boys aren't too upset about me having to prosecute Mr. Kelly. Hey, man, you do what you gotta Why do. Why R. Kelly, huh? What did R. Kelly do to you? He's accused of relieving himself on an underage girl on tape, which is against the law. Okay, okay, okay. But let's examine this whole peeing thing so I can pee in the toilet and it's okay. But if I pee on a person, it's like not okay. Well, yeah. Well, what if I'm peeing and Huey's in the bathroom and I accidentally pee on Huey? Should I go to jail? What the hell would I be doing in the bathroom while you're in the bathroom? Hold up, hold up. Remember when we used to sleep in the same bed when we was littler? From time to little. time. Littler. <laughs> we littler. <laughs> we used to sleep. Hold up. Remember when we used to sleep in the same bed when we was littler? From time to time, <laughs> I'd have a little accident. You still do. Shut up. So, Mr. Dubois, Mr. I want to lock niggas up for peeing. What's the statute of limitations on bedwetting? Why not prosecute me and R. Kelly at the same time, huh? Now, Riley, no one's going to prosecute you for oh bedwetting. And you shouldn't. It's a natural bodily function, and now every nigga in the world gonna be scared to pee. I may never pee again. Riley, it was a little girl. Oh, I seen that girl. She ain't little. I'm little. Yes. Gary Coleman's little. Yes. Many me is little. <laughs> and to the best of my knowledge, we all managed to avoid getting peed on so far. But what about the victim? Oh, yes, the victim. At what point does personal responsibility become a factor in this equation? I don't... They wrote this? Oh, my God. I, I see piss coming. I move. Mm. She... <laughs> in this equation. I don't think that... I see piss coming. I move. Mm. She <laughs> piss coming. She... I see piss coming. I move. <laughs> Equation. I don't think that I see piss coming. I move. Mm. She saw <laughs> piss coming. She stayed. Yeah, she did. And why but... should I have to miss out on the next R. Kelly album just for that? Oh my God. Man, you just got beat by an eight-year-old. And if R. Kelly goes to jail, I'll piss on your cat. <laughs> Oh my God! How did they allow this show? I tell you, it sure is beautiful out here. White folks sure know how to make some nice foliage. Oh come on, Ruckus! You can't give the white man credit for the trees. Where them two little nappy-headed grandkids are y'all? Ah, uh, they went into the city to watch the trial of that singer. Oh right, right. That black some bitch that's supposed to have had urine relations with that underage color gal. Didn't Jerry Lee Lewis marry a 14-year-old baby? You can't compare a chocolate monkey like Aura Kelly to Jerry Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis is the king of rock and roll. Great ball of fire. Besides, that situation was different. Elvis did it too. That was family. <laughs> what? We're here at the R. Kelly trial where there are hands. For the record, R. Kelly is sick. And I'm very glad that he's locked up. Man made some incredible music, but ugh, God, he's sick. You know what I'm saying? That should not be, you, nobody should ever take up for him. I don't even want to see nobody in the comments take up for this man. Even though this is funny, ain't no excuse for what he did. This, this is clearly just one part of it. 
He's been arrested on so many other charges, it's ridiculous. So, handful of angry this was just the peeing part. Voices heard. These are scholars, activists, pillars of the African American community, and they are outraged. And we're just going to head over here to the R. Kelly supporters, where it's quite the festive event. And you are. Now, why did you come out here to support R. Kelly? I say good. And what about those protesters over there who say he's crossed the line? uppity niggas all they talk about is reading and eating right nobody want to hear all that shit if i want to get high blood pressure then nigga, get the carrot away from me if i want to get high blood pressure then damn it that's my business let's talk to another r kelly supporter are you there urban youth why do you think r kelly is innocent if i started peeing on you right now would you a smile and ask for more or b move the hell out the way but before you answer that let me ask america has P ever really hurt anybody? And I want to give a big shout out to my homie Diva. What's up? <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> Get off me. Get off me, Huey. Free R. Kelly. Hey, Free yo, yo, yo. R. Look, does R. Free Kelly hate his person, that little boy? Free R. Kelly. Free R. Kelly. Get out of here. We know. We know. We talk. Get out of here. Oh. I knew it would be just a matter of time before violence broke out. It's pandemonium here in the R. Kelly Trial. Oh my god. Mr. Kelly, Mr. Kelly, do you have a statement? This is truly an example of black people sticking together. In the words of Sister Soldier, an injustice anywhere is an injustice anywhere. Amen. What did O.J. Simpson say to Kobe after his case was over? What's that? Don't let this whole trial thing turn you off to white women. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny on so many levels. Lord, I just wish they would let me on that jury, boy. Thank God for the white man's code of law. It's the only way to keep these crazy niggas under control. <laughs> I don't know if that's a girl or a boy, but she said, or he said, if somebody was going to pee on me, I move. <laughs> that part heavy me. Code of law. It's the only way to keep these crazy niggas under control. Well, oh, that and pepper spray. You know, I sat on the jury at one time. Really? Oh, yeah. I cannot monetize 1957, this. back in Tennessee. Now, the defendant was accused of shooting three little white women with a Winchester rifle from about 50 yards away. See, now, he thought he was going to get off of that old I'm blind excuse. But, oh, boy, he had another thing coming. Oh. The jury will now go off and deliberate on... Get out there! That nigga is guilty! <gasps> Sir, settle down. You have to go deliberate. I don't need to deliberate. Hang that nigga now. I got the rope right here. Oh my god. Am I allowed to show this, bro, on YouTube? I'm st I gotta make sure I s Yeah, I can't I can't monetize this. <laughs> Kang me. <laughs> Lady Liberty is on our side. Justice will prevail. The judge and jury will do the right thing. I'm telling you, Huey, it's an open and shut case. Mr. Dubois, are you fully aware of the extent to which niggas love R. Kelly? <laughs> oh, Huey, it's under control. Watch me work. And so, ladies and gentlemen, not only will we prove it as Mr. Kelly in the video, we will prove that the victim was 14 at the time the video was shot. Thank you, Mr. Dubois, and now we'll have the opening statement for the defense. The ancient Greeks, the architects of Western civilization, would regularly indulge in sexual activities with children. Were they perverts? 
In Puritan America, the forefathers of this great land would take wives who were 12 or 13 years old, much younger than the alleged victim. Were they sickos? Yeah. In Tokyo, you could buy yeah. teenage girls' panties and vending machines. Do we call them disgusting? Of course not. What do all those things have to do with <laughs> Look at R. Kelly's face. <laughs> Boy, you lost. Vending machines. Do we call them disgusting? Of course not. What do all those things have to do with Robert Kelly? Nothing. Let's get to the point. Now, some people see this so-called mountain of evidence, these videotapes, photographs, eyewitnesses, and DNA, and see a guilty man. But some of us <laughs> yeah. can see that mountain of so-called evidence for what it really is. Racism. Yeah. Oh, he said it right there. <laughs> oh, he said it right there. <laughs> Racism. Oh, he said it right there. Oh, he said it right there. Is racism. Oh, he said it right there. Which one was the one that got caught with that homely little white gal? Kobe. Right. Now I know exactly what happened to Kobe. Kobe caught that white fever. White fever get in your blood, man, it'll make you crazy. And you know they got them short little skates nowadays and that, uh, what, what, what they call them, the, the, the tongs? Thongs. Yeah, right, they got the thongs all up the booty <laughs> crack and they got that sweet white nectar. Oh, Lord, how much that. And after that, it's over. You wake up and you don't even know what you done done. Just a pool of sweat around your ankles and a deep sense of satisfaction. Give me a minute, Robert. You look like you need to take five. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I present to you the R. Kelly tape. Oh, I know I you're not you. about to show that, not on yes. YouTube. Right. Yeah! If they show... Oh, no. Oh, no. What? Oh my God, I have to demonetize this video. I have to not even monetize it at all. I'm. Oh, 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 my. My. oh my. Oh, 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 no, he did. Oh, my. Objection, we can't even see his face clearly. Oh, oh man, he got <sighs> freckles and everything. <laughs> that proves nothing. <laughs> oh. Yes, this is Robert Kelly. Yes, the singer. You are my social security number. Sure, it's not. Now, young lady. I have to fast forward that part, bro. Oh my God. Now, young lady. Well, um. Now, young lady. I know this might be hard to talk about. No, it's cool. How old were you when you were seeing Mr. Kelly? Um, 14 and a quarter. Wow. That's a great age, isn't it? Still learning so much about the world. Whatever, I guess. Could you describe the events leading up to the shooting of the video? Let yeah. me see something before I put this out. Did anybody else do this? Anybody else react to this? Okay, they did. They did. A lot of people did. Okay, cool. Cause it might be hard to talk about. Ooh, no, it's it's scary. How old were you when you were seeing Mr. Kelly? Mm, Fourteen and a quarter. Wow, that's a great age, isn't it? Still learning so much about the world. Whatever, I guess. Could you describe the events leading up to the shooting of the video? Yeah, he asked if he could pee on me, and I said for sure. I mean, it's R. Kelly, the Pied Piper of r and B. I've been peed on by guys that don't even have record deals. Shit, if I didn't want to get peed on, I'd just move out the way. Ha, I told you. Order. Would you describe yourself as an African-American woman? Nigga, you blind? 
<laughs> no, I'm not. So it's safe to say that R. Kelly is sexually attracted to black women, right? Uh-huh. Objection relevance. Your Honor, I'm trying to establish to the court that my client is a proud black man who loves his black sisters, unlike District Attorney Dubois, who's married to a white woman. <gasps> <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did they paint us like this? Oh my god, like... This is funny. This is so funny. <laughs> Not like reverse racism against... White man. I've listened to your black ass talk all day about how much you can't stand black folks. Ain't two of them in the history of the world that's worth a squirrel for. Oh, how much you love white folks? Best thing the good Lord ever did for the planet Earth. Ruckus, you black as Ace of Spades, man. I don't see the need for you to go and insult the man after a game of checker. We've been reminiscing all day, looking in each other's eyes, acting like we like each other. Now you gotta go ahead and remind me of my L man. L man? That's right. You heard of vitiligo? Shoot. Well, I got re vitiligo. Every year, my skin just seemed to get blacker and darker and blacker and then more darker. <laughs> it's the opposite of what Michael Jackson got. Lucky bastard. Ruckus, how could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just a joy to be around. It smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture. <laughs> and look at them, they gave up discipline. <laughs> lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. Oh my god, that's crazy. Lemon juice and pledge furniture. <laughs> and look at them, they gave us discipline, jobs, put structure in our lives, took us out the jungle, and what we do to show our appreciation? <laughs> we march up and down the street. We vote. Carry on in grace. Well, how about this? Game. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> I'm going to show you something they don't want you to see. Something that will blow yeah. this case. Oh, uh, she ugly back there. Look at her. <laughs> Look at her. It open. This is our Kelly's NAACP Image Award Certificate of Nomination. Oh. Amy, you got his card? He's good. Did you wash your hands? You think they nominate just anyone for this award? I got one. You know why he wants to put R. Kelly in jail? What? Because he's afraid of R. Kelly. Oh. Objection. Would you be quiet? I think he's afraid. I think the whole system is afraid of R. Kelly. Your Honor, please! If you don't shut up! They're afraid because they see the power for good that this man wields through his music. Yes, they do. They don't want R. Kelly to be free because they don't want you to be free. They don't want me to be free. Maybe R. Kelly did urinate on this woman. But America urinated on R. Kelly. Oh. And if you let them put this man in jail, America will urinate on each and every one of you. Salam alaikum. Oh! Salam, alaikum. Oh. Salam brother. Please, people! You saw the tape. The girl testified she was underage. You, you're not allowed to do that to a little girl. We have a videotape. Right. Go tell that to your white bitch. Mm-hmm. But the girl was uh, prosecuted. Wait, so this must have been around the time when they actually just let R. Kelly go, right? Because he didn't do no time the first time. Because this is definitely not... If this is season one, episode two, we are so far... We are so ahead now of things that he actually did and we know he did and the guy's a sick freak like yeah like Cushion rests 
Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, all that needs to be said is this. of my own people. Yeah, sex is a good word. I told you about messing with them white women. You do what you can to help black folks, and they make you wonder why you even bother. <laughs> but they're our people, and we gotta love them regardless. We definitely didn't do that when we found that out. But I would say they did brush a lot of that underneath the rug when because he said that that was his brother and his brother admitted that it was him and it came out years later, which was like two years ago, that it wasn't him. One thing for sure though, can't blame this one on the white man. What am I saying? Of course I can. Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and um not even monetize this right away. That was crazy. That was crazy, man. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on all my social media platforms. Everything is in the description to the video. Peace.